Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. I'm your host Michael Langdon and today I'm just going to show you how to do some uh, bibliographic citations in Microsoft Word 2007. And so I'm going to begin by just typing in a line. Let's say you were writing a paper. This is a line that needs to be cited. Okay. And to do that, we have to come over to the References tab, which is located here. And you can see that this is where you do your citations and bibliography. Um, you can see under style that you have uh, several options. The most common are the APA and the MLA styles. If you have to do Turabian, good luck. No, I'm just kidding. Turabian is very difficult because there are actually footnotes at the bottom of each page. So, But for now, we're just going to go with the basic APA style, which is very popular. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click Insert Citation and I'm going to click add new source and you can see that this brings up the create source dialog box and you can see that there's all types of options here that I can select I'm going to do a journal article because journal articles are the best sources of information because they're peer-reviewed meaning that other people who are knowledgeable in the subject area have to look over your paper before it gets published. So uh, for my author, which is here, I'm going to click in there and then I'm going to click edit and I'm going to actually use an author I know. Her name's Carol Dweck and I don't know her middle initial so I click add and that puts her into my list of names. So I click OK. The reason why they have the list of names is because oftentimes when you find journal articles, there's three or four authors to the journal article. And so this would allow you to pick authors and names of authors from a list so that you don't have to retype everything over and over again. So then I come down to where it says title and this is the title of the article in the journal so let's say this will be learn okay and the journal name would be learned help this, this journal and let's see 2005 and pages 12 to 13. And then I'm going to change, this is the tag name. So this will uniquely identify this source. So I'm going to actually put Dweck 05 so I know exactly what it is. You can see here that if you checkbox this, you get a huge list. And sometimes you need more of this information like the month and the day. When you're doing a citation, the most important thing about the citation is that if somebody needs to go back and look up your source that you cited that they can find it. If they can't find the source that you cited the source isn't any good because they can't verify what you're saying about that source. See this that's the whole point of citations is that so somebody can go back and verify your conclusions, your sources and so on. So I'm going to click OK. Oh. And there it is. OK. So now let's say, for example, I've done a whole five page thing, and now I want to do my bibliography. OK. The bibliography is really easy to do now. All you have to do is come up here, click and there's two options here you can click bibliography or works cited so I'm going to click bibliography and there it is and your bibliography is inserted with all of that information you don't have to type anything all over again it's all formatted properly in the appropriate style this is wonderful so this is Michael Langdon 
from learningengineer.com or we engineer learning for efficiency don't forget to save your document frequently you don't want to lose any of this stuff and uh, have a good day